Welcome back to Pathologic 2. Last episode was extremely stressful, but managed to get to the Termitary in time and turned out I didn't even really need to get there super fast, I don't think. I do wonder though, if I didn't get there before the start, like before the real start of day 9, would Aglaia have still been there? I don't know. Anyway, at Stamaton's Loft is where we left off. It's early in the morning, 8.45 on day 9. Stat-wise, I'm doing pretty good. I'm hungry, but I have tons of food in my inventory. I'm thirsty. That's a problem. I don't have any water. I'm a bit exhausted, but like my immunity's good, my health is good, and I have plenty of time for today at the moment, so... <clears throat> I think I'm gonna sleep here to get my exhaustion down, and then... Um, and then go figure out what's going on with the children who supposedly found Isidore's murderer. Go speak with Oyun, who can tell me more about what I need to do to actually get Taichik to come out of the Termitary, since it's incredibly dangerous and horrible in there. I mean, it is in the town as well, but a little bit less so, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. The big question I have is, do I sleep for two hours or three? I don't think two hours would get rid of all of my exhaustion, so let's do three. Let's do three. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm glad I did three. Perfect, almost no exhaustion. And max health. Of course, my max health is way lower than it used to be. What's this? What just got added? What did just get added? Oh, this! What if I refuse to bring any of the old Gimskis to the kin? The, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Remember, the kin wanted to see the old Gimskis because they're the ones who locked them up in the Termitary and kept them in that hell. Do I have anything to treat you with? Oh no, right, I don't have any tinctures whatsoever. Gonna brew some more today, don't worry. Art to me is a thirsty boy right now. No idea where safe water might be. I mean, I have this marked, but it's that's days ago. That was a safe source. It might not be anymore. The whole murder thing should be back here. <clears throat> is that them? I mean, I expected to just have a conversation with them, but if they just try to kill me outright, then fine. Suspicious note. 450. I can do an autopsy and it doesn't say people will know. Shit. I should probably just take their organs then. I don't have that much room, though. Uh. Oh, my hunger's almost maxed, so I'll eat the fresh meat. Nice. That is so satisfying. I don't need blood, right? Well, actually, I've only got two flasks. Scalpel's not doing so well. Do one more. Eh, one more. Oh. Shit, I didn't think that would break my scalpel. That's okay. Um, I think there's a better version of a scalpel called like Lancet or something. I think it's a better version because it's more expensive. Um, and I have a shit ton of money right now because of the fund. So I should probably just, I should just buy one. I mean, I'm a freaking, I'm a surgeon. I know the lines. I need something to cut with.
That's it, huh? Just some asshole waiting for me? Tries to kill me on sight? I have no idea who that was, but I seriously doubt it's my father's killer. <clears throat> I I only have one finger now. And it's always good to trade for antibiotics. Eh. Thing is, red thread and thimbles are used for repairing my clothing, which I actually need to do. Actu actually, I really need to do it. My stuff is pretty close to broken. Yeah, I'm gonna keep those. I think I just need, like, safety pins and I should be able to repair my stuff. Where the hell am I going? It's not the right way to go to Oyun. Sorry if my voice is a little bit weird, by the way. It feels kind of scratchy and weird right now. I need bottles. Bottles, bottles, bottles. Because I need to brew a lot of things. Oh god. That's the first time we've seen in person the flamethrower soldiers. Jesus, those are huge, the things on their back. <clears throat> Every time I come in here, I feel like there's new loot. I'll just check really briefly in a couple spots. Okay, I don't think there's anything this time. She is a herald of the law. Now. <laughs> We come to the time when deities begin to die. Have you been there? Yes. What did you see? There are survivors. They worship Tai Cheek's young daughter. Worship? She's like a lucky charm to them, a shield from the plague. So there are survivors. How many? I don't know, by the screams, a hundred, maybe two. They need to leave that place. I've already asked the woman from the capital to unlock the gate. She has the power now, but she refused me. And so will she refuse you. No. No, they didn't refuse me, actually. It's open. She didn't refuse me. How is that possible? You have no such power. You have no such authority. Do you? I do. My power comes from the Olgimskis and from Earth. But those are only scraps. The kin can be ruled by either force or spirit. Your father did the latter. I do the former. Bo's Vlad's strength is behind me. They want to see him, by the way. Olgimski. That's their right. If I were in Olgimski's place, I'd come. How else will they remember who their master is? If he acts as a master would, with no fear, with no doubt in his power, then they will submit to him again, as animals do. I'm starting to like... F I'm starting to dislike Foreman Oyun more and more. I thought they were on these people's side. They are... The kin, after all, right? They're part of them, but yet... They talk about ruling with force and ruling with the old Gimski's power behind them? That's... That's not good. You think this will be the end of it? Who knows? Whatever happens, Master will get what he deserves. If he's strong enough, he'll restore his power. If not, well, he'll lose it forever. This is his trial. 
I'll remember your words, kindred. You will have to prove your strength to the kin. Prove that not only do you know the lines, kindred, but that you can also trace them with your knife. Prove you're a Yargachin like your father, too. They won't listen to you until you do, and they won't accept your help. You are still no one. I don't want to follow the path of strength. Father didn't. Because I was there to help him. Because the Ogimskis forced them into submission. And I, their watchdog, sacrificed my name to drag them by the yoke wherever they'd be fed. Our people only understand strength. Strength alone. They don't think. They don't fear death. They need to be dragged from its door by the yoke. You're talking like a yoke's part of the body. It isn't. It can be removed. Oyun is a shepherd of bulls. He's convinced the kin can only be dragged to salvation by force. See no evil. Hear no evil. Know no evil. Time for you to go to Olongo, the abattoir. Jesus Christ, am I actually going to go in that thing? Tell me what's waiting for me there. Behara, you still do not understand. You need to find the blood yourself. See it with your eyes. Touch it with your hand. Taste it with your tongue. All I need is the material for a cure. Teneg. Then what's the matter? You'll get it. Alright, I'm going. There, inside, you'll understand why your father did the deed for which he was killed. I think you will. Why your father did the deed for which he was killed? Was Isidor killed by the kin because they did something similar to what Reuben was doing? Trying to find a cure at the risk of breaking all the taboos of the kin and getting killed by them? What deed? He tore apart old connections. Connections between what? All answers lie in Olongo, kindred. If you return alive but still confused, I'll try to explain it. If I'm not dead by then. Is the abattoir open for me now? The gates of labor through which workers pass are locked. So are the gates of sorrow from which carcasses leave. For now. The bull jaw through which bulls pass is open now. It will accept you. Why is that open? Also, those names, oh my god, the gates of labor, gates of sorrow, the bull jaw. Are they expecting new bulls from the steppe? One. Me? <laughs> Fine, I'll go inside. My advice? Alongo means ford. We come inside light and gutted. Better not to take anything with you. What you cling to will fall from your hands there. Don't be scared of that. If you mount the ford, they will return, and you will understand. Wait, hold on. <clears throat> Better not to take anything with you? I'm not sure how to take this. They say don't be scared of that. If you mount the ford, they will return the items? Is what they mean? And you will understand. Does that mean I shouldn't have to, like, dump off all my stuff? Is that what they're trying to say? Don't be scared of that? Like, if I do leave everything behind or whatever, it'll just come back to me? I'm trying to figure out if I need to drop all of my stuff back at home before I go there or what. I think they're saying no. Fine. Being stubborn is not the same as being strong, kindred. All blood seeps from the abattoir. Perhaps also the blood I seek. Like, I'm just thinking, if I'm there for blood, then surely I need something with me, at least an empty bottle to hold the blood, right? It's 
So that's the entrance. The bull's jaw. Oh, that's right at the beginning of this line that goes over to Stehen. Or, sorry, not Stehen, Shehen. I was going to go back home before I went to the abattoir. Or, I mean, I didn't even think I was going to the abattoir, but I was going to go home after this, speaking with Oyun. But now, I mean, while I'm here, I probably should just go, right? Not that there's that much of a distance between them. Yeah, let's just go to it. Oh, God. Were you there before? Nine years ago, my master woefully took the job of foreman to the abattoir. Ogimsky sought a kinsman he could trust, to force his will upon the kin, to quell rebellions, rebellion against the bitter yoke of toil. Yeah, I'm starting to understand that. I remember that. Everyone hated him. The kin will follow strength as rule of law. Oyun is not a fool. He knew enough to see. One does not rule by giving orders. No man can rule the kin. Tai Chi or Saba aside, only Elder Bura came close. Why would the kid need a ruler at all? The kin are a hive. The kin can only listen like a realm of infants, follow no laws but feel keenly. What do they feel, Bura? Same as everyone pain, anxiety, sorrow, hope. Oyun doesn't know his place. No king of shreds and patches but the king's silent shadow. He dreams of one to take his place. A man to lead the kin upriver towards the long forgotten past. But strong he is. Does the kin need the ways of the past? Isn't it better to look to the future? The kin are slaves, gristle for the mill Olgimsky built to drown the town in coin. This road leads to no future but our end. Same fate awaits us all. Any more reflections around here? I really would like some water before I go to the abattoir though, I'm so thirsty. I'm not going to get clean water in an infected district, that's for sure. Hmm. Well, I'm also not going to run through the infected district to get to the abattoir, so... Let's go around back the way I came, I guess. That's broken. PM. Ooh, peanuts. Peanuts and springs. For a needle and... I don't know, some morphine, maybe? Let's get both needles. Nah. Uh, Maybe I won't get the morphine. I've got six morphines. Thanks, kid. I see somebody running over there. I just wonder if they're running towards me or away from something. Oh, there's somebody else running. Get some stuff repaired? I don't have any safety pins. Yeah, I need that for all of this. <laughs> Can't get anything repaired either. Whoa. 
put it in suddenly. Yeah, let's just go straight there. I'm scared about what I'm going to see in here. Here it is. What an entrance. I'm scared. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Yeah, all of my stuff is gone. Even my money. Everything. Leave of all my belongings, they'll be back when if I get out of here. This place is so creepy. Blood, I can see it trickling. Oh, my God. I can drink it? I'm not drinking that. Bloodkin. This is our blood, Tonger. Little of it left here inside. Six springs, six gulps. We will not allow you to drink our blood. I, I don't think I want to drink your blood. Uh, I'm getting exhausted? Bite Haran, it is so. Yes, for you are not like us. I'm human. But we are beasts, we are worms. Do you know that we are worms within Earth? Whose blood is it, Hatonger? It's Mother Bodo's blood. She feeds us with her breast. Listen. Can you hear the pulse? This is the pulse of her veins, Ahar. Give me a sip? I don't think I want a sip. If I drink that blood, I'm like... 90% sure I'm going to become infected again. And I have no schmouter. You're an Ahar. To you, I'm an Emshen. Oh. Oh, I can't even open a map or anything. Not even like a quest log, nothing. So I could just drink it. Uh, I'd rather not. He's cleaving the self same body in twain, not, not kindly. Hmm. An open wound is a window into the world. That's the same voice as I heard when I was infected. A shout is an arm reaching out from a gaping mouth. Oh, God! Tearing a healthy body. I... didn't realize they were going to try to kill me. Holy shit! Is like breaking a nutshell.
I had a lot of health, too. I guess I have to drink the blood then, right? I guess. Corpsmen do not negotiate with infected people. You're no exception. Oh my god, I just realized. Does that mean if I'm infected, they're going to just burn me and shoot me? Oh, there's a save here? It saved for me. That's quite nice. Hey, even my health. My health has been, like, relieved. Uh, it, it can go all the way up to max in this place. This blood... Oh, let's go with a different option, just out of curiosity. This blood belongs to everyone. Why would an Emshen need... Shohan? Living blood? You do not know what to do with it. Our blood is shared. You are not part of us. You are different. Your blood is different. If I have a gulp, maybe I will become part of you. Hmm, and then... Back to this. Should I try to fight instead of drinking it? I don't want to fucking drink it. I do not want to drink that. He's cleaving the self same body in twain, not, not kindly. An open wound is a window into the world. The world. A shout is, is an arm reaching out from a gaping mouth. Tearing a healthy body to shreds with illness is like breaking a nutshell. Another source of blood. Blood, just blood, blood, blood. Amongst clouds of infection. What is happening here? This place is sick. Mother Bodo's sick. I'm not drinking that blood. I'm also not going over there. There's a bunch of herb brides. Uh I'm not entirely sure where to go. I can't go in there. This looks, this looks promising. <gasps> That's Nara! Oh god. Hi. Wait, I... I can't talk to you? I can talk to you. Aren't you the one who... talked to me at the tree and told me about... feeding Mother Bodo? Why are you surprised, Jargachin? Your sisters, do they dance with the plague? Anente, this is so. Do you know why we dance barefoot? Tell me. We can also... open things up. But not like you, butchers. We dance with earth. We touch her with our feet. We caress it, Yargachim. We pry her open to make herbs grow. To make air heady with its odor. To have food for our cattle. This air reeks of death. We know how to open things up. Our way. You know how to open things up. Your way. Do you want to know why the sand pest passes us by? Show yourself. 
Cut a living sister in such a way that she stays living. You can do it if you know the lines. Uh, they must be talking about Nara. But Nara said I would have to kill her. And this person's saying do it in such a way that she stays living. And I have to do this to find out why the sand pest passes them by. So the herb brides are the key to a cure? I'm no butcher. You're no cattle. Do it, Yargachin. Prove that they call you Emshen for a reason. Do you want to know the truth? See, she's not afraid. Why do you tremble then? <sighs> Wait. I need some time to collect my thoughts. Oh god. Men whose finger. Trace it along flesh, pry it open, to kill, to cure. Is there any difference? A tool for a surgeon, a tool for a menhu, a tool for a bandit, a tool for a ripper, a tool for me. This is a ritual scalpel that only the menhu can touch. If a layman were to try it, it is said the scalpel will turn against their own flesh. But in capable hands, this is the best scalpel available. It really does look like a finger, doesn't it? A long talon. Menhu's finger. speak with any of them. Oh god. We finally meet. Horhen. That's right. That wouldn't be pronounced that. K-H, K-H, Horhen. Yeah, Horhen. Do what you must. Nara. Your name is Nara. It's me. You knew all. Or you knew all this time? Or you knew all this time? What? I think it's supposed to be you knew all this time. There is no pain, Horhen. You are Yargachin. What your blade cuts is not a body. You're tracing emptiness. A predestined line. And so the game presents me with two options. Cut down or cut left. reason to choose one over the other? What am I trying to trace? I'm supposed to prove that I know the lines. I don't know what the line would be. Cut down. <laughs> you cut me wrong. You're opening the spleen, but it's too early. <clears throat> cut down into the right. Did you find it? Almost. I can almost see why you people who devour meat raw are unaffected by this disease. What do you see? Earth. It's... She's breathing. I'm made of Earth. No, you're made of flesh, like a normal person. This is Earth. Earth is flesh. Hot blood flows through it. It gives birth. It gets sick, endures, and suffers. We are flesh of the Earth's flesh, Yargachin. And so is the disease killing you. But it's of no danger to us while we're connected to the Earth. Now you've seen it. It's 
of no danger to us while we're connected to the earth. So I could either say yes and end it here or cut more? I think I'm done cutting. Yes. Mm. Mm -mm. Are they alive? <laughs> Spindle? I mean... <laughs> Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Remember when I accidentally removed someone's, I, I think, liver at the beginning of the game, accidentally killing them. I don't think they're dead right now. They've been cut open, but I haven't taken anything. I'm supposed to cut them open without killing them. As far as I know, the only thing I can do is maybe take the spindle out of their stomach. I think that'd be fine, but also blood. A bit of blood wouldn't kill them, or would it? I'm actually not sure. I don't think I took their blood um, when I got that thing out of the person's stomach at the beginning of the game. I think it was just this. The thread is thin like nerves. This is the second thing out of three. What? That's not a normal spindle. What? This system isn't symmetrical. It's not just nerves, bones, skin, or nerves, bones, flesh, or spirit, hair, blood. Any triad is correct. Truth is not a set point, but an intersection and confluence of many small truths. Knowing this, I can match and connect anything. Is this the thread with which I may connect things? What now? I have to take their organs? Just go drink blood if I wanted. I don't. None of you want to talk. No? Okay. The thread is thin like nerves. I need the other two layers. I can call them bone and blood. Or spirit, hair, blood. Any triad is correct. Any triad is correct. So any of these are correct? She's going to die if I take any of these. What could maybe symbolically, spiritually leave this person alive if I didn't take it? I think maybe the heart is what I should leave. body is not to be cut open, it's only allowed for men who, wise men who know where a body wants to give, 
and butchers who accept sin. That's the same usual description. I'm going to leave the heart. I, I took the three. I have a triad of things, do I not? Do I need to take their heart too? Mm. <laughs> In step lore, the center of mind and knowledge Ooh, this seems important. In step lore, the center of mind and knowledge is the liver, while the center of feeling and emotion is the lower gut. They view the heart as a less crucial and rather mechanical organ that simply, pump, simply pumps life around, oddly arriving at a consensus with science-based medicine. Shit. I left the thing that mattered the least. What should I leave? The center of mind and knowledge or the center of feeling and emotion? I don't know. Why can't I talk to any of you? Are you about to try to beat me up? must go off. I see you have a question. I don't. Fuck off. I I don't understand what I'm supposed to do, but I do think I did it wrong. Where am I going to load? Is it going to be back at the beginning? Before I snuck in there? I hope it is. Please be. It is. Good. I want to do that again. What does drinking the blood do, though? I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Okay, I'm back here. I think before I cut down and they said I'm cutting wrong, let me cut left. Yeah, that seems right. We love you, Yargachin. You're doing everything right. You're getting closer now. Soon we become whole with you. A harangue. Who are you in life? Did you dance with Earth? Can't you see? I'm dancing with Earth now. You're cutting me open so that Earth may live. This is how it's been since ancient times. You're doing everything right. I'm so thankful. Okay, which way do I go now? I did left. Now... Up? Why do they do it? Why do they build such unbearable towns? The earth doesn't want this town. It's killing her like you're killing me now. I'm not killing you. You're still alive. I'll be alive afterwards, too. My blood will trickle down into the earth, and I will become an herb. I hope it's swevery. What did I do? Left, up? I feel like I should remember this just in case it's important. 
Where do I put it? I don't know. Just general notes, I guess. you find it? We've had this conversation before, but... Mm. The nasty noises again. time. I'm definitely taking the heart and the brain. Any triad will do, so the question is... The question is... Do I leave them the center of mind and knowledge, aka the liver, or the center of feeling and emotion. I feel like I need that spindle, that very, very, very special spindle. Now, what do I do at this point? I think that person back there who's patrolling, I think they got aggroed to me. Just because I like moved around too fast and they can obviously see me, so I'm sneaking right now. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I can't... Yeah, I can't look at thoughts or anything like that. Do I just leave? I guess. Because even when I took everything, nothing like magically happened. I can't leave. No. That's not the end. What do I, what do I do? Do I need to drink the blood? Desiccated. That seems to have helped me significantly. It's life giving. It didn't give me the infection. drink from them all, I guess. You know what I could try to do? I could try to stab him. Now that I have Menku's finger, look at how thin it is. Holy shit. Let's not drain their blood. They're, theirs is not the blood I need. Helped me even more. My thirst is down. My hunger is down. I wonder if I don't need to take the organs at all then. Maybe? Hmm. I have an idea. 
I've gotten to the point where I just cut them open, I've taken nothing, and I've realized that if I can get a bottle from killing those giant odongs that try to kill me, then I can take her blood, and maybe that's all I need to take. I don't know if I should drink that one. Like, I don't know if I should drink every one just because I can. At this point, my stats are really good. I don't think I need to. Let's not be greedy. I'm going to try killing this one. It walks this way. <clears throat> and then it stops like right about here. I'm going to wait till it turns around. It should not see me here. I'm sneaking. They look so unbelievably creepy, all covered in blood like that. Why are they covered in blood? Have they just been drinking from Mother Bodo? over there too, I wonder. I wonder if I should continue? Before I take their blood? When did I get a fingernail? Wait, what? Where, where did this come from? This system isn't symmetrical. Duh, duh. Yeah, it's the same. That's the same description as the spindle. I guess because three things can connect anything, right? Doesn't look like a real fingernail at all. This is the first thing out of three. Hmm. I... Hmm. I need to check something. I don't know where I got that from. I just need three special things in here then. So I think I just take this. This is the first thing out of three. This is the second thing out of three. I just need three things. Is there any point in taking her blood? That might kill her. should take your blood then. Can I take your blood? Yes. Or what kind of blood is it? Just normal? Yeah, just normal. And I could pour it out if I wanted to. Are they coming? 
coming for me. Shit. Man, this finger's amazing. No! Fuck! Okay, here we go. About to kill the person. Or... Odong, I guess they're not really people? So, yeah, just killing them gives me this. So, on some of the Odongs, it's just the thing I need. It's just all over the place in here. One Odong has this. Nara has this, and then the third thing is somewhere. I guess I might as well take their blood just in case I need it. Alright, let's try not to aggro all of them. Who can behold the kindliness of Ake? Only dreadnoughts. Only grown beings. Overstepping beings. Daring beings, ones with awoken souls, mighty thoughts, they can withstand ache and wisdom. I don't know how far they come in here. It almost looks like their eyes are glowing. There. If I kill this one, the other one's gonna see. Shit. Okay. Whoo. Whoo. So, instead of drinking it all, let's collect it. Living blood, it's different. Yes, I kind of forgot that I should be collecting it instead of drinking it all. Whoops. It's okay, we got one. I'm just gonna pour this out. Living blood, this is special blood. I can make special medicine from it. If I had to guess, I would guess each one might be equivalent to a schmouter, maybe? But I have no idea. Any trickle of blood seeps from a long go. This is the blood I was looking for. One vial is enough to seriously invigorate myself or brew someone's salvation. Yes. I hope there's a lot more sources of blood. Because I kind of forgot about that. And I don't want to come out of here with just one. Also still need the third thing, unless this is the... No, it says when you mouse over it that it's the so second of three things and stuff like that. Folk. So many dreadnoughts. So much to uncover yet. So much to do. Teaching healers the gaze. Teaching men folk to see the mighty oh my God. of kindly earth. Jesus Christ.
Here's the thing, though. I want more blood. In vials. This time I only drank the very first thing of blood, and the rest I'm going to collect. Including this one back here. This is the first enemy you encounter. taking out this huge group again. Between my fists, frame them nicely. Oh, thank God. I don't have that much stamina since I only drank once. Four living bloods, yes. Oh, hey, this is the last of three things. When did I get that? Did I have that before? I might have just looked over it because it's like just a candle, you know? <laughs> Not very notable on the surface. The wax is warm like living flesh. This is the last of the three things. This is the first. This is the second. No, sorry. This is the second. This is the third. One, two, three flesh, nerves, bone, or whatever you want to call them, it's the three things. Oh shit. Men whose finger is basically broken. Uh, I shouldn't do combat anymore. Just a creepy dark corner. Big and small. So many beloved men and folk. So many dreadnoughts. So much mm. to uncover yet. So much to do. Go ahead, tie it together. The three things. Tie what together? Show us if you are a good menhu, M. Shen. Show us you know how to connect things. It's people who connect things. Touch one, then another, and a connection forms. Touch them how? Hmm. Hmm. They've mentioned touching them with their eyes, right? Touching people with their eyes. With a glance, just the way you like it. The Emshen is modest. It takes no wisdom to see that a cord connects mother to child, yes. It takes no wisdom to see that a stone falling into a river connects to the ripples on the surface. But to see the connection between the stone and the mother? It does. Nenpa gu zom, Emshen. What do I need to connect, and where? Here, on these rocks. You know how it works. A table to cut and mix. But I need... I need herbs, roots. Where can I get them? Take what you find around. Should we wait for you? Uh, yes. Teaching healers the gaze. Teaching men folk to see the might 
That is a terrifying hole. So this is the bull's entrance, right? Where do the bulls go? What do they do with the bulls? Do they just feed them to Mother Bodo? I guess I have everything I need. Oh god, they're gone. Three things. Three things. I doubt the order matters, but nonetheless. Let's put... Can I actually put the first? Yeah, first down here, the second, and the third. What? I hear it. Why do I hear it? Oh my god. Talk? That is the most absurdly good looking heart I've ever seen rendered in a video game ever. My god. Zorhen's small chamber. Speak to me. Who are you? I am a Zorhen. I am your heart, Hatanger. You have connected things. You can now hold me in your hand. Hear my voice as if I were a stranger. Speak to me. This is my own heart? What's going on here? You now see the nature of the kin. Look, the sand pest shirks the quiet and the humble, the ones who do not know the thought of self, who do not reach upward. This, this is a lie. Or are you saying the thousands that died in the termitary were not of the kin? They lived in a stone sack, torn away from earth, stuck into a town to work in a factory and become like people who severs themselves from people and from land, dies. It wasn't their fault. Not about blame. Earth cares not if you have guilt. The ones who keep roots underground, who walk barefoot, who sleep in Earth's hold, fear no pain. The ones who forget how badly Earth can hurt, die broken by that pain. By Earth's pain, do you mean the sand pest? That which you call the sand pest is just an aspect of Earth. Her agony, her scream, her voice. It's only lethal to humans, but not to those who forget the word I. Not to those who speak little. Those who have no need of words don't feel it at all. So the sand pest is only lethal to humans. This disease threatens only those who sever themselves from Earth. Stay with us and live. Merge with us. Return to us. We love you. Don't split off. You hurt without us just as much as I hurt, torn out of you. Return to your body, Tangair, and your body is your people. I want to live. Be simpler. Be silent. Abandon speech. You'll feel what they want you to know without it. When you need to express yourself, you'll find a way to connect to them without words, too. There will be no other people. Everything will be united in Earth. Silent? Simpler? Duh.
that's not me. I won't be one of you. I'm human, not a bull. A human's path leads always to death, can't you see? Are you even human? Why did you return here to us then? There's no way back from here. I can see the way. Tell me, heart, what is this pit? Great bulls were slaughtered here. Their blood trickled down to that pit, dissolving in earth, feeding her, granting her life. Do you want to know if your beasts are human? Step into the abyss. Follow the bulls. Hmm. On my own? I thought this might be where the bulls came. I thought maybe it was for feeding Mother Bodo, and it is. Um... Do I just jump down then? I could just try to leave through where I came. I don't think it would be open for me. Fine, if I'm a human, I'll live. If I'm a bull, I will feed the mother. I sent something close by. I should find it before leaving. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's gorgeous. I'm inside of Earth. This place looks amazing. It sounds like the beating's coming from this direction. It looks like a boring blade, like something cutting through the ground, about to pierce. Just about to pierce. Zurahan's big chamber, a living heart of a giant creature. The eighth. It's beating. Barely. That's what I'm hearing. Faint heartbeats. Talk to me. To me. I've been talking to you this whole time. You're the Uderg. Uderg. I don't know this word. Are Earth and the town one and the same? Do you know? No. Am I talking to myself again? I tend to do that. Yes. Yes. The town is alive. Alive. Hmm. No, you're not just an echo. It added a thing. But again, I, I still can't look at those things right now. It was echoing everything I was saying, but I don't think it's just an echo. You're so close to dead. How do I help you? You are in danger. 
Maybe it's young Vlad's well. Digging too deep. A ladder? A wooden ladder? Is there anything else in here? anything else in here. Thankfully, time seems to be passing very slowly, if at all. So I think I'm free to explore down here. 14.03 is the current time. I really want to make sure I'm not missing anything down here. I think you're just supposed to follow the sound of the beating heart. 1404. Yeah, time is passing, but very, very slowly. Hmm. I think this is where I came in. Just one more check at the heart, and then I'll leave. this game. They have done such an absolutely amazing job on it. It's breathtaking. Where am I going to come out at? If I had to guess, I would say Vlad's well. Oh, I think it is. The day is over? Daylight and waking life mean less and less. A new pantomime is being rehearsed at the theater. Nothing awaits you in the fund. What? Dear God, what's happened? More time passed than I thought. Jesus. Wow, I didn't treat anybody because I... Thought I'd have a chance to? Laura. Fuck. Oh, apparently I treated you. So many people infected. Same night. At least none of the kids died. 
shit. Is there anything I could have done to avoid that? Like, is this always what happens when you go in there? The day is over. The end draws ever closer. A new pantomime is rehearsed at the theater. Hey, young Vlad. Oh, Yoon. So, uh, hmm. Stop drilling. The limits are back on my health and stuff. That didn't disappear, just temporarily. There's the living blood. And men whose finger. Back to full durability. What the fuck happened? Let's look. Hmm. I didn't attend the hospital yesterday. Yep. Aglaya's busy. Now's not the time to see her. Some things I'll never learn. Fuck Aglaya. The blood for the panacea is underground. The whole town stands on blood. How do I acquire it? Here, people dissect the living to understand. The abattoir, that is. Here, people gnaw at each other like animals. This I got when I started stabbing the Odongs. I don't regret doing that, though. Here, beasts live, not people. Life and death are the same to them. The red pit in the ground calls to me. His ear waits in the step. His heart, here underground. I finally see. I understand. The Uderg is my town. I see you're branded. Is that mark a letter? Now's not a good time. I'm headed out. Did you see where I just came from? Why? Have you heard what happened with the termitary? Uh, no? The kin are no more? You've been there. I have. Leave father out of this. It was me. I did it. What do you mean, you? I ordered the termitary shut, Burrah. Not my father. Me. Just before you arrived. Father covered for me later. You said the termitary was locked because of a riot. Was that a lie? There was a riot there. Or so I was told. Now I understand what scared them. But back then, I wasn't thinking about that at all. A riot among the kin? What the fuck do you mean? They've been struggling under your yoke for 60 years and they never lifted a finger. Stop yelling at me, that's just what I've been told. Can you imagine what father would have done if he'd learned about a strike? Not to mention a riot. What, you think he'd have gunned down a protest? Sobrov wouldn't have let him. We didn't even have weapons. Back then, I thought father's wrath was the worst possible threat they could face. I was wrong, but no one could have known about this plague. I was wrong, but now I'll make it right. I'll go to them. <sighs> Why go there? You can't fix anything. Why go there? Why go there? Why go there? Because I can't not go, Burrah. Because this is my doing. Because I must see the place and look them in the eye. I want to be real angry with young Vlad, but if the father could go instead, that would be better. Because Vlad is much worse than young Vlad. I 
Don't go. You can't fix this. Bruh. Get out. Just get out. Am I making myself clear? But thank you for the rehearsal. I've looked one of you in the eyes now, and I must bear however many there are. I hope there's plenty. Fine. If you refuse to listen, I'll find another way to stop you. What the fuck is happening? I feel... What just happened? Like... Did anything that I just see actually happen? We haven't even talked about the fact that I just came up out of their fucking well. It was young Vlad who locked up the termitary. He deems himself responsible for what happened to the kin and will go to them voluntarily. Is this the outcome I want? Young Vlad? You're a piece of shit. But no, that's not the outcome I want. How did so much time pass? It seemed like time was passing so slowly down there. It was day nine. It was like 2 p.m. What the fuck happened? <laughs> this has happened. This is my map now. <laughs> One of my favorite moments in the original Pathologic is when this happens. I love this game. There's no true warden among you. You're back. I can tell you've been inside. By my eyes? What did you see there? The guts of our people. Yes, Hatungir, we are beasts. We crave a strong hand. You understand now that you must take power over them. Take an Udhe and herd them like cattle. Who killed my father, kindred? One of our own. I thought so. What for? Your father's path brought us no happiness. They don't need to be turned into people. Animals demand a different sort of care. Don't you see, Ahar? This cursed plague is no threat to us while we remain beasts. Mother Bodo's blessings fall on simplicity. Earth doesn't brook those who walk too straight. father did everything right. Your father let the sand plague into the town. He let everything you now see around you happen, deliberately. You're lying. Father stopped it five years ago, and he would now if he hadn't died. Five years ago, he failed to understand the sand pest's nature. He had no time to think. He was a man of action, just like you, Ahar. For years, he contemplated the outbreak. I think those thoughts drove him mad. When it returned, he opened the door, eagerly. Why would he do that? I'm too simple to understand his complex reasons. He believed the sand pest would turn subhumans into humans, creatures who have not lived into living creatures. He said, a town like ours must endure it to live and mature. It's called a vaccination. What? He believed it would turn subhumans into humans? What? A vaccination? What do you... What else did he say? That you would come and finish what he started. No. 
No, I don't believe you. You must be confused. You couldn't understand his designs. You are exhausted. Du Kubun, you need sleep. Dreams will help you sort your thoughts. As for me, I leave for a long go. My place is there. So too will yours one day. I'm not a bull. Father deliberately let the plague into the town. I feel so just thrown off. so thrown off. Everything I saw down there, what they just told me about Isidore, and the time change, basically losing a whole day. Shit. And I lost three people that I cared about. The Stamatons and Lara. Taishik is still alive, right? Town still in danger, of course. Yeah, Taichik's still alive, okay. I was worried when they say... I was worried when they said, like, do you know what happened at the Termitary that they meant, like, after I left? Like, sometime in the lost time, everybody died? But no. They're just talking about the thing I already saw, the fact that most of the kin have died there, locked up. Man, the the sort of like min-maxer in me wants to load an old, old save from before I even went into the abattoir and just do stuff in the town as much as I can before going in there so I can vaccinate everybody and everything. Or not, not vaccinate, but you know, raise their immunity and whatnot. But... I'm not going to do that. I don't feel like that's honest, really. That feels too cheap. Okay. Uh, I'm still just kind of speechless. But uh, I guess I'll end the episode here, and when I come back... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>